so you wanted to meet up again because of the last video. Yes, I had some extra Napoleon details. So these are five crazy inaccuracies in the Napoleon movie? Correct. Right. Hit me with it. So my first point is... The Battle of Austerlitz? How did you know? It's written on your forehead. Right. The Battle of Austerlitz. One of Napoleon's greatest military achievements didn't exactly happen as it was depicted in Ridley's film. Napoleon did not get the Obi-Wan Kenobi meme and then shot at the Austrian and Russian army. But what actually happened is that Napoleon put in a surprise attack by sending his infantry uphill. And as a bonus, the Austrian and Russian soldiers who did drown, didn't actually drown in a lake, as the trailer showed us, but rather in a series of small puns. Wake up! Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't sleeping. I was just filtering what you just said. Meeting the Duke of Wellington. Possibly one of the most inaccurate sentences to describe one of Napoleon's events would be... Napoleon meets the Duke of Wellington in Playmouth, England. Now the fun begins. There are two big inaccuracies in that sentence. First, Napoleon never even met with the Duke of Wellington. Second, Napoleon never set foot on English soil. Well, if Napoleon was able to take England, he would have never set foot on English soil anyway. Think about that. Yeah, I will think about it. Now, Napoleon in Egypt. Saudi Arabia? No, Egypt. Because in the film, we get a scene in which Napoleon and his army fire cannonballs at the Egyptian pyramids. For what good reason? Exactly. Now, many historians did rapidly point out that this never happened. But it's very obvious that Ridley included this just to entertain audiences. And LBH, it was fun. I haven't what? Do you know who Josephine is? Yes, she's my next door neighbor. No, not that Josephine. Napoleon's wife is named Josephine. Oh, I'm sorry. You better be. Because in the film, Napoleon is seen punishing Josephine. And that didn't actually happen? Exactly. According to many historians, Napoleon loved Josephine so much that he would never physically insult her anyway. Nice. And your final point was? My final point has to do with Napoleon's positioning. Oh, that doesn't sound as obvious. And it isn't. When it comes to military battles, there are a couple of instances in the movie in which Napoleon joins his cavalry, including in the famed Battle of Waterloo. But Napoleon's skills actually laid in staying behind to oversee the battle, as he was incredibly talented in inspiring his soldiers, making tactical strategies, and preparing them for battle. And in my opinion, he was also good at invading Russia. Oh, I agree with that. Was that all? That was all.